Have you guys seen the Billie Eilish Nike Air Force Ones? I think they're banging. I really do think they're banging. I might be in the minority here. And I think of maybe some cooler sneaker collectors out there might be like, no, nah, they're not the best ones. They're pretty shit. I'm waiting for another Kif pair. But in terms of a collaboration on an already existing model, especially a model that doesn't get used as often as it should do, the Nike Air Force One High, the lows get used a lot, the mids get used a lot, but you don't really see many people collaborating with the highs. It's an absolutely interesting way to kind of interpret it in your own way. The only thing that I'm a little bit kind of pissed off about or a little bit disappointed in is the fact that i feel like they pussied out a little bit so it's an air force one high in a sort of mushroomy type creamy colorway and it's sort of like a suede new bucky type of upper it looks like and on the laces it's got five individual velcro straps but the thing that kind of let me down about them you know it's great because it's all tonal so they're completely whatever color that mushroom color is on the entire thing for the midsole to the stitching to the laces all one thing i love that in what i want especially with lighter tones i feel like it looks really good especially with a big chunky sole it helps to make it look chunky but also a little bit slim at the same time I don't know how to explain it. it's really odd but whenever you see like a really chunky silhouette of a shoe even like a triple s the blend like a triple s you see those in like a in like a gray in like a desert sand in like an off-white it looks a little it just softens the lines it helps it to look a little bit less chunky but still chunky same effect happens to these Billie Eilish Air Force Ones the only thing I'm disappointed in is the fact that they applied the Velcro shots on the top which is an interesting twist but they then chickened out by having laces underneath I didn't know that was a fact because I think if I'm not too if I'm not mistaken these are the same pairs that Hiroshi Fujiwara kind of leaked quote-unquote wearing on his Instagram page a few months ago maybe a couple of years ago even maybe this might be the same pair and i actually thought at the time they were a fragment design which would make sense because hiroshi's done a few velcro design type shoes i think on a pair of court tennises or something i forgot which ones but he's done a few velcro design shoes from back in the day but if it, if it was me and i was being really picky i would say personally i would have much prefer them to have done maybe three thicker straps or just do the straps without the laces and maybe have the under have the the lace bit be similar to like remember the a cold war air force ones where i saw like he, he got rid of the eyelets and the if i'm not mistaken the tongue was basically i won't say glued in but it was sort of like seamlessly put into the the side panels of the lace stage you know what i mean that, that, that kind of style that would have made more sense that would have made it a little bit more um interesting to look at as a proposition and then the other thing that i'm not really too sold on is the finish on the inside with the straps and the loops and the fastenings i think it just it, it just kind of throws it off a little bit there's two even though it's tonal all these lines clash the lines on the toe box here the line around the fastening the stitching the fastening sort of like plastic clip the strap itself they all clash there's too many lines and angles here clashing at the same time i think what would have been better is if this would have maybe been a bit invisible maybe it kind of um, disappears into the upper maybe you make the entire upper or you the this side of the shoe if that's possible maybe you make that seamless so that it kind of blends into one so that you could have these things protruding because there's too many protrudes like look there's that bit there's this mudguard bit there's a swoosh and then there's this bit there's like one two three four five six seven different kind of panels all going at one time and also for the inside too, I'd imagine when you're wearing them, they probably won't look the best in it with those kind of loops bumping all over on the inside. I don't know, maybe it's just me because they could have easily just put the strap on the inside here on the lace stain, have it, actually have it just strap over the laces instead of having it go so far across. Maybe, I'm not too sure. But again, in terms of a proposition, I'm a real fan of them because again, it's an Air Force One high, you know, it's basically mundane and basic as it comes but it's being given a bit of an interesting twist and i'm really a big fan of them i really really do like them and i'm really hopeful that these come out in men's sides and aren't just limited to women's if billy was being smart and i'm sure she's got a great team around her if you do want to make these like if you want to have your collaborations be um a sort of a lightning rod to get more girls into sneakers or to encourage more female collaborations with sneaker brands or whatnot you would probably make these women's only right sizing so you so that girls could actually purchase them in their size instead of having them done in men's and then having a smaller size be free and then some girls still can't purchase them because they're small i mean that's you know what i mean that might be a good way to go about things and also you could also if you wanted to billy she could have the air force one high this model be an actual women's model so maybe it's a bit slimmer in terms of a silhouette than the classic air force one because it's meant to accommodate a, 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 a this kind of general girl shape of foot more so than the unisex model that we see that's a bit wide or whatnot 
But I really like them. I'm not going to lie. I think they're really, really hard. I'm not going to lie. Um, it says, yeah, the Billie Eilish Air Force One High is coming at April 25th. It's priced $170. Available on sneakers. Uh, after a month, so sir, Billy has previously worked with Nike on two sneakers we looked before, an Air Jordan 1 KO and Air 50, Jordan 15. She's got a very eclectic and somewhat random taste in training, isn't it? There's nothing linking an Air Force One high with an Air Jordan KO or an Air Jordan 15. Like, it's a bit chaotic, isn't it, taste level wise? But uh, again, I mess with her because I've, I like the shoes. Um, it's success all immediately. There's a pit, there's a video of her use, um, ad. I'm not going to play it. Probably have copyrighted music. Uh, coming here for Swan. Yeah, again, I said mushroom. So definitely mushroom be type of color. The lace tag with the Billie Eilish blush stick figure character on the top of it, it says here on the text. It's crafted with sustainability in mind. Um, Eilish's Air Force Ones feature environmentally friendly materials, starting down below with its Nike grind midsole of old Nike manufacturing scraps. That's funny, isn't it? I'm, I'm sure there's other sustainability involved in it, but sustainability is such a bit of a, such a joke and such a um, virtue signaling thing to say. So essentially, the entire shoe is made up of, you know, toxic shit that's going to end up in some skip somewhere strangling a turtle somewhere in an ocean but the midsoles are environmentally friendly oh that's nice to hear so what when you're done with these what are you meant to do you meant to cut off the midsole and then chuck those into your recycling bin and chuck that into your normal bin the upper like come on man absolute joke sustainability you just say it as a buzzword or to maybe get tax right off so it doesn't really mean jack shit but anyway it continues blah 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 if we know anything about yeah 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 cool but yes um 25th of april due to come out soon i'm a big fan of them i think they look cool i think they look interesting hopefully they come out in the men's if not i have to stick my gigantic francis ngano type foot into a size nine and a half uk which is a women's 13 i think that'll be a bit of a mad one but hopefully they come out in men's as well but if they don't i totally get it because girls do deserve some good sneakers too